Are you tired of dull and boring presentations? Want to take your PowerPoint game to the next level? Look no further than Gradient Colors. These vibrant and dynamic color transitions can add a whole new level of excitement and creativity to your slides. So why settle for dull and lifeless slides when you can add a pop of color and excitement with Gradient Colors in PowerPoint? Before we move further, we would like to invite you to subscribe to our channel, like our content, and share it with your friends and colleagues. Check this out. Gradients can make your PowerPoint designs look absolutely amazing. In this video, we'll teach you how to create a gradient power design that is sure to catch the eye of your audience. By using vibrant colors and an overall cohesive scheme, this design is certain to immediately capture the user's attention. Join us in this tutorial to learn how to elevate your presentation game with stunning gradient designs. I have arranged beautiful gradient colors. Now you will ask me like from where did I get these? Well, I have used Google Images to find these gradient colors. As you saw I have used rounded rectangles for the presentation design. Simply insert one and change its size and placement as you want. Remove the outline. We do not need it. PowerPoint has color picker option. Use this option to fill the colors on the gradient stops. Use the color palette at the top. It is easy. Now I am going to customize the rounded rectangle shape. Insert a circle and place it over the rectangle at the bottom right. And yes, duplicate the rounded rectangle as well. Now subtract the circle from the rectangle as you can see on the screen. Great. Now pick the other rectangle and apply solid color. A lighter color is preferred. I think the gray color will look better. What are your thoughts? After filling the gray color, flip it vertically by using the rotate option. Make sure that you send it behind the original rectangle. You can right click and select send to back. This is looking good now. Now insert one more circle and I will subtract it from the top rectangle but keep a copy of the rectangle. Now subtract and adjust the color of the remaining part of the circle. Till now I hope everything is clear. If there is any confusion, please let me know in the comments section below. Now let's do some more enhancements. Add a glow effect by using the shadow option. Pick this vibrant green color and adjust the blur and transparency. Keep the transparency on higher side otherwise the glow will look harsh. It is something which you will learn after testing the options. Now let's further enhance this shape. Insert a rounded rectangle. Use the yellow node and make the edges completely rounded. Fill light color and place it at the top behind the main shape so that it is partially visible. Now create a few placeholders for information. Insert a small circle, remove its outline and place it on the top right corner. Many of the customizations also depend upon the slide content. Try to customize according to the content theme. You can zoom in to get the better view of the alignment, placement, and edges. Now add a placeholder for the icon at the bottom of the rectangle. Insert a rounded rectangle once again and place it at the bottom left. Just check if the alignment of the shape is fine. Also, increase the edge's roundedness. Looks like an icon on a phone. Fill the color and you can decide it as per the theme. I am using white as it complements the slide design. Now I am using the inbuilt icon repository to add icon. This is basically a call to action to go the respective slide upon click. Keep the icon small so that it fits inside the shape placeholder. I think the color is fine. But yes, it also depends upon the theme of your slide. Now comes the most easiest yet ignored part of any presentation design. Adding the text. I am adding a title, subheading, a stat and a description which is dummy. Again, it will change as per the content you want to place. In the next one minute I will add the content on the slide. Watch and understand the text styling.
always use less text in the PowerPoints. This will make your slides less cluttered but more meaningful to the audience. Now I am doing some final fine tuning to the shape. I am adjusting the gray rounded rectangle at the top and adding one circle on the left side. Once all the things are in place, just review your design. Now duplicate the shape four more times and change the color and text along with the icon. And yes, your slide design is complete. Now to make it look more modern, what you can do is adjust the placement of second and fourth shape by moving them down. Also change the background color of the slide to light gray. After that it is up to you what you want to do on it. Try different styles, colors and backgrounds as per your choice. And here is I am doing one last thing. Just watch. Then we will preview the final output. So guys, here is the output, and you will love it. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe, join membership, like and share the video. On our channel you will find all the PowerPoint slides that you need. Just watch the tutorial, learn and download from the Drive link in the description.